with sickle cell disease, my personal journey with my son, ways to manage and prevent sickle cell crises, chronic diseases and how we are affected, natural ways to manage and reverse chronic diseases, proper nutrition and why the importance and essential minerals and vitamins that are vital to our health. Okay, so sickle cell disease is inherited blood disease. It's when a baby is born and you take one gene from the mother, one gene from the father. So in my case, my daughter, she took my A and my husband's C, so she has the C trait. My second child took my S and my husband's S, so he has SS sickle cell disease, so both genes are so. And then my last child, he has SC disease, which is a form of sickle cell. So there's various kinds. You have SS, you have SD, you have SC, you have sickle beta valve, you have there's different, very, in, in India culture, they call it thalassemia. So there's different kinds. But at the end of the day, the body doesn't produce enough red blood cells to carry oxygen throughout the body. I have normal hemoglobin and also low oxygen. So every 10 to 20 days, the red blood cells dies off. So your blood cells lives 120 days. So you have plenty of time to make new red blood cells. So that's the problem with sickle cell. So my story started 11 years ago.